pitiful baby. You are so pitiful. Okay, so me and Pumpkin just finished doing a review today, finally. I started to do this damn review, this foundation, yesterday. But yesterday went to hell in a handbasket because I got my hair cut and I got really upset because I did not like it because it's so fucking short. It is so short. Yeah, um, it was not supposed to be this short. It was supposed to be here. And it is here. I'm like, I'm glad my hair tends to grow fairly fast. These are my, my cue cards for when I'm doing reviews. That was one of the uh, best things ever. So we're doing a weird test on this foundation day. I look like Halloween somehow. It just happened. Uh, I think I was rebelling against my can't speak to the manager hair a little bit. Because that's kind of how she feels to me right now. I don't hate it. I think it looks kind of cute in the viewfinder now that I'm seeing it just in person. When I was looking in the mirror and I caught a glimpse of it, like in a selfie, I was just like, no, I hate it. I hate it so much. But now I'm kind of okay with it. And it's just growing on me. Eh. Anyway, we just finished doing that. And I cried a lot about my hair yesterday because uh, if you didn't know, my hair was down to my butt. It was all the way down here. And it was long and pretty and healthy. And I just wanted some trim and some layers. That's all I asked for. I had a picture and everything. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm going to get all upset again. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not just upset about the hair. There's family stuff going on too. Uh, my aunt's in the hospital. That's the whole thing. She's going to be having an open heart surgery this week. The sobriety's getting tested this week. She's been being such a good girl while I filmed. She's been sitting in her little bed, just hanging out. Not fussing, barking, or nothing. Just being a sweetheart. Oh, I think I got so upset yesterday though about my hair. Like, I ugly cried over it. I think that was, it was more just project, pro projecting stress of other stuff. Because, I mean, it's just hair. It grows. It's really not that big a deal. Also, I, my videos are now in 4K. <laughs> Yay for me of uh, upgrading my editing software and learning how to export and 2160p at 4k because i've been filming in like this crazy good quality right but then upload it it looks like shit i'm like uh <laughs> why do you look like that <laughs> yeah that that's why i i'm a doofus and didn't know how to export footage because i knew i was filming in good quality i just it was something was getting lost in translation there and it wasn't working so i'm still new at this i've only been doing it like two months Hey pumpkin, what's uh what's going on in that ear situation? <laughs> What'd you do? What you got crazy ears for? Huh? <laughs> Please return to default position <laughs> here. Let's fix them. Oh, were you doing some crazies on the floor? <laughs> you rolling around being a goof? Oh sneezes! <gasps> Bless you. What are you doing? Look at this mess you've made. Oh my gosh. Where are you going? You ain't got Ellie pants? Is that Ellie pants? <gasps> Ooh, you love Ellie pants, don't you? That's what we've named that toy. It's a little elephant. So its name is Ellie pants. Ellie pants! <laughs> Teared up. I ignore the half finished makeup. But I let my hair air dry today and just kind of. Crunched it. I kind of uh, just encourage its natural whatever I have. <laughs> I don't really have curly hair, but when it has like layers and stuff in it, the ends curl and it makes it look like I have curly hair. So it's like, well, let's see what it does if I just kind of let it do what it wants to do. And I put some mousse in it and some product just then kind of just let it dry. Yeah, yeah, I think it came out okay today. I got a little volume in it. I put some texturizing spray in to kind of get it to, you know, have something. And some dry shampoo because I have very flat, fine hair. And, you know, having it a little longer or a little shorter is... It's testing me. I don't love it. Still don't love it. Just a pumpkin and her big pig. Oh, they'll wake you up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. Yeah, I didn't mean to wake her up. New nails, finally. I've waited like a month 
without getting my nails done. I almost never do that. I was just busy and really didn't have time to go do it. So I did a mirrored chrome and matte black and changed the shape to a short coffin because I started stabbing myself in the face with the stiletto nails because oh my god the amount of injuries I gave myself. I think they look nice still. Match my short ass hair. Somebody's peeping out from one of them covers. That's pretty terrible quality. <laughs> She's watching me. I'm sitting in the bathroom in my little vanity chair. <laughs> Don't have to do my morning skincare. And I just see this little face. What are you doing, pumpkin? Hey, pumpkin. Why is your ear all goofed? Is this the vlog where your ear's all silly the whole time? Anyway, it's time to do some morning skincare. I think I did do some earlier. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay. Happy uh, Thursday, I think. Yeah, today's Thursday. And I okay, wanted to do some vlogging this weekend because we're going out of town and we're gonna go to a roller derby game and I'm not sure what else, but we're gonna go out of town and go visit my husband's parents and his family and yeah but I figured I'd go ahead and get, make a start vlogging because I haven't vlogged in like a month because there's been a lot of stuff going on and I got a bad haircut and I really hate it and it just kind of puts a damper on a good two months having a shitty haircut right it really does like you don't even want to look at yourself on camera like when I part in the middle I look like Snape so that's a thing and <laughs> Otherwise, it's just kind of messy and whatever. Anyway, just went and got my coffee and tidied up the bedroom a little bit. Because while we're gone, other friends are going to come here and stay because they had to come into town for work. So it's like, well, at least they'll be in our house and we're going to bring the dog with us. And yeah. But today I wanted to do some filming, I think. I've got most of the stuff done that I need to do today. I have nothing filmed for uh, next week. Well, I filmed one thing yesterday and I kind of have mixed feelings about it. Like, and if that's the case, like, do I really want to upload something that I don't know if I like? I don't know. I'm just kind of eh, on it. So I'm going to try filming my throwback palette video today and a demo review of the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. We'll see. Out of like the last five, six things I've tried to film, I've just deleted. Like it's just not worked out. It either didn't look good or I just wasn't concentrating. You can tell I just wasn't in it. You know, I just kind of, uh, there's a, you know, like some family stuff going on, but things are looking up and much better. Anyway, I'm trying to get back into the swing of filming and I don't know why I'm just not liking any of the stuff I was filming. Well, some of it you could tell, I just I feel like I wasn't in it. Some of it I was talking about stuff I didn't want to really talk about. So, but yeah, we're we'll leaving tomorrow morning. I'm going to stop by hospital and visit my aunt on the way out and check in on her. She's currently still in the ICU, but she should be getting out uh, today. They're going to put her in a room. She had open heart surgery, and that's what's been so scary. Is it was very scary. She had surgery on her neck because her carotid artery was clogged. She had oral surgery and then she had open heart surgery all in a week. And it was pretty major. Like it was a long, long surgery. And I saw her the next day and it wasn't looking good. Like I don't think any of us thought she was gonna make it. Like it was bad. And there she is this morning on Facebook. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, she was drinking coffee yesterday and sitting up talking and they've got all the tubes off of her and, like, she wasn't breathing on her own. They, she was ventilated and it was in critical condition. Like, I didn't even recognize her when I went back to see her. And my dad's had open heart. So I thought I, you know, knew what I was expecting to see going back there because I've, you know, gone through it with him. He, no, it was different this time. But she had a much worse, uh, other stuff going on, complications that maybe he didn't have. So on my Twitter, you know, I was really <laughs> talking about it a lot and kind of upset and saying, hey, my content might be a little spotty because I don't know what's going on. And I had some stuff pre-filmed that's gone up this week. 
and now I'm out of pre-film stuff and I'm having a hard time filming things because I can't get my brain together. Like I just, I feel like I can't focus and I'm just kind of really distracted and... Good morning! It is. Oh shit, it's almost 7 a.m. I go up at 5 and I've just been farting around trying to get my day started here. You know, coffee going and trying to gather up all my stuff because I have to pack today. My, well, my makeup and stuff because we're going out of town for the weekend. And I still have to get ready. I've already packed my clothes and all that and I've got my outfit ready to go for today. I'm just going like super casual. Leggings and tennis shoes. Nothing special. I actually put my hair in a little sassy ponytail today and I think it's pretty cute. I'm probably going to just live with it in a ponytail at this point because I hate the way it looks when it's down right now. But yeah, I thought I'd do just a little quick get ready action while I was packing. Because I've got to pack anyway and get ready. It's like, well, I'm going to film it and talk about what's going on today. I'm hot. That's what's going on today. And yeah, I am wearing a jacket, but... I figured I would cool off a little bit because it was hot because I was up doing stuff as soon as I got up and you know how it goes. Anyway, we are going to visit my in-laws this weekend and then we're going to a roller derby game. And yeah, I need to pack my makeup and put it on my face at the same time. And also I need to be out of here by 9.30, 9.40 because I need to stop by the hospital to visit my aunt who's in regular still in the ICU. So I need to get there at the visiting time at 10. I have decided to bring my Tartus Pro palette because it's just kind of got everything I need in it. And yeah, I can do brows, all of it. And it's sturdy, it's got a nice mirror. And I don't know, I just feel like bringing it and playing with it. So I'm just gonna jump into the shade Classic and do another brow bone. I'm bringing my little travel brush as I went and pulled them. Got them out, ready to go. I've already packed my hair stuff, you know, clothes, I gotta pack pumpkin stuff. I'm gonna jump in Innocent on this little fluffy brush. It's like a tapered fluffy brush from Sephora. It's a little, it's a travel kit I got from Sephora brushes. I have like 15 bucks, like super cheap. And they are fantastic little brushes and so perfect for travel. And have come in handy. Oh my goodness, have they come in handy. Like sometimes I just reach for this brush just because I like it. You can see like, at the top how beat up this looks. Like I set uh, a thing of acetone on top of it and it kind of made a, made a little bit of the plastic. Like this palette's been through it with me, man. I need a new one. Because it's just such a good go-to palette and it's so great to have in your kit. I'm probably just going to be using a lot of these warm browns this weekend on the top row. Just because uh, it's easy and convenient colors. To kind of go with everything. I'm going to set it right here so I don't have to hold it because it hurts my hand. It uh, makes my arthritis kind of flare up so you're holding something like that. So I use this uh, Sony Kashuk bag. It's got a bunch of little compartments and stuff. It's perfect. Perfect for me. Just for travel for myself. Like when I'm my kit though, like when I'm working or something, way bigger unless i'm just doing one client as a simple look and get all in here but most of the time i uh have everything in a backpack i don't have like one of those like professional like cases well no that's not true i had one and i didn't like it it was so bulky and i think i'm gonna take the deeper brown i'm just gonna bring it right into the outer part just get a little definition. And see, I'm going like super casual today. I probably don't need to do this. But yeah, there is a GoFundMe for my aunt, which I'm going to link below. If you could either share it at least or donate it, like whatever. Not you don't have to donate much at all. Just any little bit would help. Is to help pay for some of her things she's gonna need once she gets out of the hospital that are really expensive and insurance doesn't cover like a lift chair and just little stuff and until that woman has been there for me through some of the absolute hardest times in my life and she is kind of just the best and so yeah she survived 23 heart attacks she just had open heart surgery she's had neck surgery she's had oral surgery all within a week 
She's been through it, you guys. You get two kids, they're, they're the sweetest, and yet they're, they're young, early, early 20s. I don't want them to have to go through what I did in my early 20s of losing your mom, you know? It's, it sucks. But she was there for me when my mom passed. And afterwards, she really helped you know, watch out for me and stuff. And while my mom was sick, she really was there. Just a rock. She's always been kind of the rock of the family and the matrix. I think that's all the eyeshadow I want to do today. I might take a little bit of this lighter foam color. It's kind of it's super simple today. But we're going to do a little get ready action in the vlog because I had to do this. Not only was she there, you know, her mom was sick and helped out a lot with whether it was bringing her to chemo, going shopping, just going vacations with us just to kind of get away and just do all the stuff you don't think about doing. The self-care part, she really was a big part of that and was made my mom smile a lot and laugh and I don't know, she was just wonderful through all that and when my dad would have something wrong, like uh, he's had open heart surgery too. And last year he had to have ablation surgery and she was very, very much there for me through all the stuff with my dad because it's just me right like here. Because my brother lives in Colombia and it's a really long way away. And a lot of times, you know, stuff right now, it really will be just me on my own for you dealing with that, or me and my husband, and so she's been there with me through it when I don't know what to do. Okay, I think really that is all I'm gonna do on my eyes today. I think I'm gonna put some mascara on. I'm gonna go ahead and do the face real quick so I can go ahead and get that pack. I'm gonna go ahead and also pack a couple more brushes and pack this little pointy brush, a little flat pack on a brush, smudge brush, and a this is my little brow brush that I use, and also as a liner brush. Bring in some brown liquid liner in case I need it. Things we're look are looking up though for, like preparing for the future. So this time last week, we didn't think she was gonna make it through at all. It was a very high risk surgery, but she was kind of there's no other option. The reason it went wild, photo focus foundation stick because it's easy and quick. And without her though, I wouldn't have pumpkin. That's where this little baby came from. Okay, I totally got cut off because I was sitting there just rambling away, doing my makeup, whatever. But I've used uh, this palette for blush and contour. This blush is so pretty, just gives a nice natural blush to the skin and it's not over the top, it's very gently pigmented. Light and easy and to use. But anyway, I'm moving on to the under eye. And I'm taking my little pencil brush here and jumping into that warm brown that we used. I know you guys did miss an epic sigh from Pumpkin down here. She's mad because I made her get up out of bed. Just taking a little bit of the highlight shades in here. Me around here just to make sure that under eye eyeshadow is kind of soft and blended not too harsh so I want the eyes to be super easy today and just everything very effortless it's a natural look natural for me anyway I'm not too big into like natural makeup okay so that's it with the eyeshadow I'm gonna put this away or pack it up and uh yeah I think I'm just gonna move on to do I need some more blush or is it good? I feel like I didn't put any on. Let's see, it is 7.30 almost. Let me do... Go get pumpkin stuff packed up and... All that jazz. Her stuff's easy to pack. I just pack her some food and her treats and a toy that she's into. And a blankie. The blankie's for in the car with me. But yeah, we're gonna stop at the hospital for leave though, and uh, she's gonna hang out in the car with Humi. With my husband. <laughs> she calls him Humi. Because he's her Humi. 
Yeah, she's gonna sit in the car with him with air conditioning on, trust me. Yeah, I also wanna do just products that I know are gonna last all day and hold up and not melt off of me because it is still super hot here. Like it's, I don't know what it's gonna be today. It's August in Louisiana and that's our hottest month. And it's like, oh, it's insanely hot. But yeah, I just went in and touched up my brows with the uh, Micro Brow from Wet n Wild. I love this one. It's cheap and it is like the best color for me. Okay, let's move on to lips. I think I'm just gonna go with a neutral lip today. I'm gonna bring a bolder lip. Like um, this is Ms. L'Oreal Infallible Rouge Lippies. God, why is this written so fucking small? Yeah, I don't know what shade this is right now. It's 445, whatever that is. It's like a warm brick red. I'm gonna bring it with in case I want a more bold lip tomorrow and a matching lip liner. Today, I'm just gonna use the Infallible from Matte Liquid Lipstick in Cowboy, which is my favorite right now. I'm also gonna bring in the Milani one that I've been loving called I Am Positive. It's like a really deep brick red. It's options. I like to have options. But this I like because I don't need a lip liner or anything. I can just pop it on. I love this applicator. It's kind of tickly, but I like it. And they smell so good. Yeah, that's just a nice color. Like, it's a little... Got a little something to it. It's not like a nude or anything, but it's, I think, really good for like daytime. Kind of casual. Not full glam or anything. And it's so stay on and like bulletproof. I can just go ahead and pack it in my bag. <laughs> Oh, highlighter. I forgot. You know what? I'm picking a real simple highlighter. I'm bringing Moolet Pearls from e.l.f. because I have it out. <laughs> I just did like a, a throwback tutorial this week using some old products, so it's hanging out in here. Yeah. I mean, this is still like a banger of a highlight. Look at that. Look at that glow. And it's so just smooth. Like it's just a very smooth product. And I don't feel like it emphasizes texture or anything. Or is this, you know, just me? Some people hate these highlighters. Why? Yeah, you do have to scratch through that top layer. That is very true. Look how. Look at all that glow. Mm -hmm. I like to look glowy. Alright, I'm gonna pop that in my bag. Oh, I'm gonna hit the inner corner with it. I'm using a mirror over that's sitting up here, a lighted mirror. It's funny as you're so used to your ring light, you don't even realize it's on. I was like, did I turn my ring light on just then? <laughs> Literally a bright ass light, halo of light in front of me. And I'm like, did I turn my ring light on? I think I'm losing my mind some days. My little brain cells, it's just, Duking it out up here. Okay, I'm gonna take some brow gel, run that through. Why don't I just use my little mirror right here? I, I swear, I still love this thing for travel because excellent mirror. Get all your face product. Okay, all right, I'm gonna do some mascara. I'm just going to use some. Oh, I just opened this one. It is the Marc Jacobs. It's a mini that I've had for a while. Velvet Noir body mascara. I put one layer on, I was like, then two layers. And I was like, oh, there's the volume. It's freaking great. And this is a beautiful mascara. I see my baby's like raving about it. I've had it since it came out. I have just yet to open it because I stockpile mascara. Wait, this is one coat. I think it looks lovely with one coat, damn. I think I just couldn't notice it because I had such a bold eye on their day. But yesterday, I had a very, had a lot going on. You know, I didn't fuss with like face primer or anything today. I'm just not in the mood. And I don't know, I think I'll be all right to go we go out priming and doing all the things. And say so we're going you know, to my in-laws, and that's out in the country. There's really no reason for glam or anything. Like, we usually don't go anywhere beyond just staying at their home. We may visit other family down there, but we are going to go into the city. Yeah, this is a good mascara. Shit. I might actually want to buy it. You know how much I hate 
paying high end prices for mascara for someone I'm gonna throw away in three months. Ooh. Okay, so makeup's packed. I got all my hair stuff packed already in a tote bag. I'm just bringing my sea salt spray and my texture spray and stuff to like air dry. Right, I just gotta throw my clothes on and get pumpkin packed. Okay, pumpkin is already whining because she saw me get her travel blanket out. Good old Care Bear blankie that I've had since I was 16. I think I got it for my 16th birthday. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. That's her like favorite blanket from the car because it's not too heavy and it's, you know, she can snug in it and everything. And we got treaties packed. We got some little meat treats in here and some greenies. Kibble and an extra container for water. And yeah, and some puppy pads. And so I just got to grab whatever toy she's into and put that in the bag and put her collar on her. And yeah, should be ready to go. I just got to throw my clothes on now. <sighs> I'm hot. Why am I still wearing a hoodie? Why am I still wearing the hoodie? <laughs> Pumpkin, do you want to put your jingle jangles on? Do you want your collar on? <laughs> you love your collar? Yes. This dog loves her collar so much, and she has been very angry with me because I forgot to put it on for a couple days. Could I take it off when I'm filming so we don't hear that in the background. So loud. <laughs> My microphone picks up everything. You ready to put this on? You want to put this on? Yeah, he's so excited. And we got Care Bear Blanket out, and that's so exciting too. Oh, yeah. Got our jingle jangles back. Got our necklace back on. Now we're not naked. Yeah. Oh, and someone also had a bath. That's also why I was off. <laughs> yeah, she got a good bath and got good and clean. Hehehe. <laughs> Yeah, yes, so excited, so happy, so happy to have the collar on. Yeah, look at this ki kibble mess. This is her. Okay, I bought her the wrong kibble. It was my fault. I bought her this one. It's a Rachel Ray one, and it's got bits of carrots in it. She does not like the carrots, so she picks them out and the peas. She picks all the vegetables out and leaves them all over the floor, like as punishment for us for buying the wrong kibble. Like they will literally be in the bedroom, the office, everywhere. The little peas roll and you step on them and they explode into green powder and it hurts. <laughs> yeah. See? More carrots. This is just from like a day or two days. <sighs> little turd. Yeah. Did you have Humi picking? the veggies out of your kibble huh are you spoiled are you that spoiled yeah papa please give fix my kibbles the way i like them please papa may i have just one kib that's why i come up here nature goodie <laughs> Okay, got it fixed. Got the length kind of evened out some, so it looks much better. We're about to get ready to go to the roller derby game. We're in the loneliest, oldest Wendy's in existence, I think. It looks like 1992 in here. It's crazy. But yeah, look at this color. It's rose gold. We were gonna do icy, but the way my hair lifted, it's like you know, let's go with that rose gold. <laughs> 